Hello, Joe from Joe K Models here. So I've been working on the engine um, last night and today and I just wanted to take a few moments just to explain how I got to this result and also what I'm going to do to enhance it. Um, so basically this engine comes in uh, three pieces. So you have this main piece which fits against the fuselage this part that goes over this piece, and then you have the propeller part, and this goes in between, and um, you know this is what you attach the propeller to once you're done. Um, you have to finish this part um, before you start painting, um, because this has to go into the plane um, so that you can mask it um, if you're gonna be airbrushing and painting the whole, the whole thing. So how did I get to this? So the way that I typically do engines are as follows. I take both pieces off the sprue, I clean them up, and then I um, put a black um, primer over them. I use Vallejo black primer. And then once the primer's on, I spray everything with flat aluminum. Um, but you could use whatever type of steel aluminum color, but I think flat aluminum gives a, a nice look to it. And then for this particular Wildcat model, I took a neutral gray and I just painted the neutral gray into these areas here and then also on the, um, I wouldn't call this the nose, but the part that comes out from the engine is also a neutral gray. And then there's some wiring here and the Airfix instructions do not call out to uh, paint this, but I know from my previous uh, Tamiya kit that it was some type of a gold color and it calls it out as a gold leaf color. I don't have that, but what I um, did have was I had this enamel um, testers gold. So what I did was I basically you press down on this and then the enamel comes out of it. And I, I guess you could call it decanting it. Um, and then I just took like a very precise brush and I just kind of highlighted those wires a little bit just to give it a little bit more depth and to make that pop a little bit. And um, then I basically just clear coated everything. Um, I've done this one of two ways in the past. Um, I've did a gloss coat and then I've done my uh, panel line wash over it and then I put a dull coat over it. But I'm, I don't really think that's necessary. So I just put a dull coat over it right now. And then I'm going to put the, um, the enamel panel line accent over it. And because it's enamel, I think I don't really even need to go over it again with the dull coat. Um, so that's what I'm going to do here. And I'm gonna, just going to show that process a little bit. So here's the panel line accent color. You don't have to use this. You could use an oil wash if you wanted to, but um, this stuff is pretty good to use for this. And then um, I typically will give it a good shake and it comes with a brush that you can um, use to um, put the panel line on here. I prefer just using a regular um, brush. Um, so I'm just gonna dip into here. I gave it a good shake. So when I use the brush that comes with it, it tends to come out kind of uh, thick at first. So that's why I like doing it this way. And then you just take it and then you just go over it here. Have that dull coat over it so it should be protected. And this is going to highlight those accents, make it pop out a little bit more. Take your cotton bud against like these surfaces like this. Don't do it too hard. It is possible if you do it too hard, you could start taking the paint up. But just gently. Okay, I'll let that dry up a little bit. In this area here. 
going to be really hard to see this because this is sitting behind this piece here, but you know, if you look at it in just the right light, you might, you might catch a little bit, so. And you can see how it just highlights those areas here. It's kind of like working on the cockpit where you're doing so much fine detail. How much of this are you actually going to see? Um, you might catch a glimpse of something here or there, but I wouldn't stress too much over getting it exactly perfect. Um, at the end of the day, you know, this piece is going to be the one that's going to be showing the most. Okay, and then if you think you got too much on there, I dip my brush into some enamel thinner after wiping it off. I'll show you how easy this is to get off. You can just pull, pull it right off there. how it comes off and once you get it off you know wipe your brush off again on a paper towel or dirty t-shirt whatever you got and keep going and it's gonna leave a very nice effect so I'm gonna keep working on this and then I'll show you the end result once I'm finished all right, so now we're all painted up and everything. Um, so with these three things, this is how these are gonna go together. This piece will go in here. And there's a key right there and you just match it up. And then you get the piece like this. And you take the airplane. Again, there's a little spot on the right hand side that you just line it up with. And that goes on like this. And there you have it. So that's how the engine's going to look um, on the inside and then this piece right here will go over the top. And there you have it. So that's going to complete the engine and I uh, hope you found this helpful. I'll see you on the next episode. It's Joe from Joe K Models.